Good morning, Cosmic Power Ideas Instructors. Today is neon day. So I got my little jacket that I swear I have not worn since before COVID because I didn't never get a chance to. So, um, did I leave my lunch in the car? Yeah. I left my lunch in the car. Oh no, I need to go get it. I need to go get my lunch. I left it in the car and I didn't even park close. It's already seven. Okay, I gotta go get that. All right, my cosmetology instructors, hope you're doing good. It is, um, I, it's 15, 20, no, 20 minutes before the, the kiddos come and I feel sick. I feel like, because I just scarfed my Popeyes down. So in the morning, I, I told you that I left my lunch at the, in, the, in the car, which I did. But a student came in and then um, I had to go clock in. The bell rang, I, I, could, I didn't have time. And I was gonna go in between class periods, but I, that, excuse me, sorry, but I didn't have time. And so I thought, you know what, just forget it. And so I had lunch duty. So I was like, oh man, it's been sitting out in the heat. So just forget it. So, <clears throat> I left the lunch in the car, so I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna go get something. I didn't have a heavy dinner last night, so I was hungry at lunch, but I had lunch duty, and I was like, oh, lunch duty, I hate lunch duty. Um, just because oh, there's so much to do, and it's kind of an, an interruption in my day. I know it's very necessary and needed. Everybody needs to do their part, but it just takes me away from what I need to do. So, <clears throat> lunch duty today, did that. I was... Um, then I got back and then I took an extra 10 minutes or so, uh, five minutes or so talking in the hallways. I came in and then I had to go, um, hungry. So I had to go get the lunch, had Popeyes, and then I was trying to hurry. So I hurried up and I was scarfing it down. You know, when you feel like it's stuck right here, that's the feeling right now. It's a little, but anyway. I should have just had the cheese and crackers I had in my drawer. But, so then in the car, I had these things. So I had water, chips, and snacks I needed to bring. And then I went and got sugar and, can you see it? Sugar and um, I bought uh, oil, coconut oil. And then I brought stuff from home, like Halloween decorations and just random things I needed to bring. I did go ahead and turn in my um, Amazon orders. I forgot to print them, so I printed some of them, but I didn't get to print all of them, so I'm tr just trying to figure out how to do that um, so that I can check off when things come in. I can check them off. My husband's going to come get his food in a little bit. My, over here is a hot mess. Oh. Uh, and then up over here, I need to set up for... Oh, goodness. I need to set up for today's lesson so I have not even set up my tabletop although I started putting the things up so I'm gonna do that really quick and I'm gonna put you here so you can kind of see that process I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this go fast or not but let's see how it goes This is the box that yesterday after school that I put all the things I needed uh, for today in here because my bins over there are still not wiped down. So I need to wipe those down. Okay, so this that way I'm gonna just bring it over here you know let me just snap my fingers and then it's it's done all right so you have your shea butter that you have put in your little mixing container Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your cinnamon. Okay, so grab your cinnamon. 
your cinnamon, you are then going to open up the sprinkle side. So open up the sprinkle side. You're gonna pour your cinnamon a little bit at a time into your shea butter. And you're going to mix it in. You should not see more brown, less yellow. That means you wait, added way too much cinnamon. You should see the brown though from the cinnamon. You don't see, if you see more yellow than brown, you need to add a little bit more cinnamon. And really get in there and scrape the side wall of the container to really get all of your product. Again, it adds a nice little aroma. It adds a tiny bit of texture. And then, It gives it a little bit of color. Remember, back then they did not have uh, the, the glitters and all of the scents and all of the things, okay? They didn't have all that. And that's it. Now, can you add more things to it? Yeah, but we're gonna keep it simple. So this is a cinnamon shea butter lip balm, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your uh, spatula and you're gonna scrape the side of the container like this and then you're just gonna begin to pour it out. Now when you pour it out into your little five ounce container, try your best not to overfill past the max line and try to keep it away from the outer perimeter of your container so when you put the lid in it does not um, get all dirty now once you put your product into the little container you go and take your spatula and kind of smooth it out and spread it out you can wipe the spatula on the inside corner of the rim of the um, cup or the little uh, Dixie cup now, once you put it in, you're like, well, uh, it's a little empty. I kind of want to add some more. You can go back in and make you a little bit more. Just use a clean spatula each time. Clean spatula each time, okay? Once you're done with that, you're going to take a napkin, which I'm going to come around and give you. You're going to take a napkin before you close your container, and you're going to wipe the rim of the container so that when you put the lid, it does not make a big mess. Okay, so I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna give you a napkin. So you can go ahead and do that. Lost a shoe. Can I see her? Okay, so that's it. Once you package it, you're gonna take your little lid, make sure your hands are clean, put your lid on, push it down, and you're done. You're gonna take this to someone and say, here, look what we did in cosmetology today. We're learning history of cosmetology. This is how shea butter is made. We use shea butter, put a little bit of cinnamon, this is a little lip balm. Merry Christmas, there you go, have everything, okay? All right, so that is the cinnamon shea butter balm. Now, while you finish that, I'm going to give you the strawberry and we're gonna start that. Now, the strawberry. I wouldn't eat it because I have not washed the strawberries. You, you can, but just wash the strawberry. If you just wanna wash the strawberry, you can just go to the sink and, and wash it down, okay? So I'm gonna give you, let me get some new gloves. Um, I'm going to give you the strawberry. Do with it what you need if you need to wash it or whatnot, you can. It's gonna get a little messy, just FYI. Simply because when you squash the strawberry, it's juicy. It's very juicy. <laughs> if you need to wipe your hands down, do so. All these strawberries look fake. Right? 
taste it. Like, like Did you hear you? Are we watching this video? They did it. As you're mashing your strawberry, you're mixing the scrub element, you're welcome, which is the sugar. And this is just one teaspoon of sugar. I think you did it wrong. So a sugar scrub or a body scrub is something that is going to help Ew, remove the dead layers of yeah, only a little part. Did I give you sugar already? No, but I wouldn't clean that. Oh, half half of the strawberry. Only half, right? Are you the thing? Chop, 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 chop. You have some. Use your um. Oh, the sugar makes it look so nasty. Really? You can use this on the lips, or the face, or the body. You don't have an outfit. I know. My strawberry is not coming. It was coming back in. All right, so I went by and I gave you the sugar. You're still mashing it, okay? Mash, 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 mash. You're trying to get that strawberry to kind of just become some kind of a liquid form, a liquid jelly of sorts. Now, miss, I see chunks. Yes, back in the day, the Egyptians, when they did this, they had chunky products. 
chunky cosmetics. It wasn't cute, packaged with glitter shimmering in a palette, although they had their own palettes, right? It wasn't cute. So don't, don't expect cute because that's not what we're going for. I am now gonna come by, I'm gonna squeeze out a little bit of coconut oil. I'm gonna do two little squirts. Once I put oh. the oil, you wanna continue? Yeah, no, not the best. You wanna to continue to mash. And this is just pure coconut oil. all right hey guys how's it going y'all are gonna be a little bit crooked here hopefully this doesn't fall um okay so it is uh three what it's almost four o'clock i gotta get out of here i gotta get my kiddo um i tried to record a little bit of what the classroom kind of looks like i didn't record the live um, video of the lesson. Now when I, and I hadn't really been doing that much this week, when I don't record, it's because I've already previously recorded that. So I, you know, I don't wanna like every year record and upload the same things on the channel. It's already in there. And so if a student needs to watch something, I'll just say, hey, go search for this and then just watch it and that's fine. So that way it's like not, cause if not every year is the same thing. Anyway, so we did that. I got my folder because I need to plan the um, November 
October, September, October, November, and December events for the neighborhood. Um, I do the neighborhoods, the social events for the, the neighborhood I live in. So I have a trunk or treat that the students, they volunteer and they um, decorate their trunk and hand out candy. We buy the candy, the neighborhood buys the candy. Um, and then the students just hand it out and they are dressed up and little kids. We're showing a movie on the lawn. We're doing Ghostbusters, the af afterlife or something like that. So that's that night and we're having a food truck that I also need to call um, these people, Spacecraft Barbecue. Um, anyway, so I need to call them. So I need to do that. And then in, that gives my students opportunities for community service hours and it gets them their cord. So not only do I get to help out my community by, oh, I saw something, by doing the events, but I get to help my students get community service hours that they need to get their graduation cord. Win-win. Um, today I submitted my Amazon orders, finally. I was like, Four, I was like 500 no how much was it like $600 over budget so I had to remove a lot of stuff and we'll just do salon day to try to come up with some funds to buy those things now why did I go over this year because nails has a lot new a lot of new products that have come out this last year that are new and they're expensive you know and I've run out of gels top coats primers, bonder, all of that. So I just reordering it's not cheap. And I try to shop. I gotta try to get the cheapest of the cheap just to, you know. And um this isn't like professional name brand stuff. This is like <laughs> Amazon, right? So let me get my computer. And sorry. So I turned in my list, I, I took out a bunch of stuff, just the like things that I'm like, well, I don't need it right now. I can get it later. I'm gonna get it later. I got some stuff that I have to get rid of and I give to somebody that wants it here on campus. Anyway, um, missing roll books, bottle, new grade. I got my pile of things that are piling up that I need to get done. But anyway, so I got my stuff ordered. The smocks came in today, so I was super excited about that. I've got the stuff ready to go for the morning. I got my table set up for, we're doing cuticle care tomorrow. And we're starting our new journal. We're doing, we're starting henna tomorrow. So I got that. I also did pull out my henna teaching bin that has, it's right there right there my teaching bin has all my stuff in it the fake skin that tattoo artists use to practice on and then real henna super excited this year we're going to use real henna i know oh <laughs> real henna super excited not on the skin like, don't think that we're going to use this on the students because we're not using it. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking about mouthful. We're not using it on students. I told students we're going to use real henna, but we are not going to use it on your skin because I have a child to feed. I love my job and I don't want to get fired. It's a temporary tattoo. I mean, come on now. As temporary as it may be, it's still a tattoo. So, anyway. Oh, uh, hey, we're gonna throw the paper or no paper. Sorry. I couldn't grab the phone, it was wet. My hands are wet. I hate when there's no paper and towels. I also hate when there's no toilet paper. <laughs> I wanted to record the cleanup and setup, but I really, I, I had to hurry. I'm sorry for, I wanted to get out of here before then. 
And if I would have recorded, there's no way I would have been able to finish doing what I needed to do. So, put you down. I'm gonna take my extra strawberries home. They're good still, so that I can go ahead and eat them. I'm going to get rid of this because today was neon day, but if I walk into my child's daycare wearing this, they're gonna think, what is wrong with the lady? It's cute, but when you have like a purpose to wear it, but I don't know, I just want to wear something like that just because I don't want to embarrass my kid. I mean, he's too, he's not gonna know. But anyway, so we did use, we did cover the tables today because we did the, the DIY lip balm and scrub and all that. So my trash can does get filled up pretty quickly. So I buy bags personally and not out of my budget. I should though. And then I take out, so here you can see I, have, I take out my own trash during the day because it gets full and the kids just, Mm, just pile it up. Look at the bulletin board. Look at my bulletin board. Thank you. I like the little 3D bit. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here because I have got to go get my kiddo. I'll try my best to record a little bit more. Tomorrow we have our, what do we have tomorrow? Tomorrow we have our um, cosmetology what do we call it? A gathering. And so what it is is that the students come during their lunch period and we are in the dual classroom, this classroom right here, these two right here. And we open the partition and we set up the tables, cover the tables and we just give them nachos and snacks and they get to mix and mingle. And so it's just fun and nice. And so the smocks came in, so we're gonna give them their smock during that time. They bring their own drinks. And then dessert wise, everybody brings a dessert, drops out in the morning. We group it by the four lunches and then we all share whatever everybody brought for that lunch. Anyway, all right, gotta go. See you later, bye.